my name is Christine Alalo. I'm the acting commissioner of police in charge, child and family protection department. Uh, this department investigates cases of child abuse, uh, one of which being defilement and the uh, issues of child neglect and failure to provide, and a number of cases, of course, that we handle related to children. However, uh, it is true that there is actually a big gap, especially in the number of cases that we, re we receive in the police stations. That, uh, and we, we don't receive all cases. Not all cases are come to the police station or are reported to the police station. The majority of them remain back home. Uh, like uh, cases of defilement, at times we may not know that they are happening down there because the parents don't report, or guardians don't report, or children don't report. Or even if it is to be reported, it is reported late after it has happened. Many of them are even settled out of court because uh, we, are, we are looking at the parents, some parents look at it as a, a way of, you know, of getting money from the offender, from their abuser. So we actually to know the real number of cases of abuse is very, very difficult for us. What we get at the police station may just be a half or a quarter of what is happening down there. So a lot of our children are going through untold torture, untold uh, abuse every day. But we do not have as a government a report or a survey that was done in a comprehensive manner to inform policy and help us know the strategies we have to put in place, we have to put in place to ensure that this is addressed. So if you ask me whether we are committed to the research, we ought to have had this research yesterday. But tomorrow is good enough since we don't have one which can inform policy direction. As a government, therefore, and as Minister of Gender, we shall offer all the cooperation, all the support that we can, and we are appealing to the people who can come to this cause to help us fund the research, because the research will be a redemption to the Ugandan child. So f uh, f for us, uh, in Uganda Police Force, we are really very, very ready to cooperate, to give support to this, uh, to this uh, survey, that we really need it, because when this survey is done, I know it will help us too. It will help us in our planning, it will help us in our budgeting, it will help us mark or get the black spots where these things are happening, and then it help us with our intensifying in our, our sensitization to the community. Right now we are lacking information. We are lacking information on the general picture of uh, the occurrence of these uh, gender-based violence uh, acts. We are just relying on hearsay, peace mills of uh, sur uh, surveys being done by an organization which is just located in uh, a small area. But since this one is going to be a countrywide, I think it will be very important. Uh, it is going to give us the general picture I think it will show us where the, the, the vice is, is high and uh, I think the information will be really greatly important because uh, we as the health sector, much as we are on the receiving end, I think we shall use that information to plan our services better and also to participate in the prevention. My name is uh, Agre David Chibenge. I'm the Under Secretary, uh, Minister of Education and Sports. A study of this nature is very important because, given the mandate of the Minister of Education and Sports, that of facilitating uh, the growth and development of children uh, who are at school level. 
uh, certainly child abuse is one of the major barriers of the barriers to attainment of the full potential of these children uh, when at school. Uh, there are growing instances of child abuse which manifests itself in all forms, uh, including corporal punishment. You might also have heard about the growing instances of uh, child abuse in the form uh, of defilement. Uh, there are increasing cases of defilement attributed to people that would otherwise uh, be guardians of these children, people that are entrusted with the growth and development of these children, some of them unfortunately uh, in the form of teachers. We have always argued that parents entrust uh, their children to the teachers, they put their children in the hands of the teachers and expect the teachers to play a complementary role. So it's really disturbing when we get any form of reports that the teachers are falling short of society's expectations, that the teachers are falling short of the parents' expectations. So uh, these and several other forms of abuse are uh, matters that we uh, at the Ministry of Education and Sports take as fundamental uh, in our pursuit of the education goals and objectives. If we don't eliminate child abuse within our schools, even within the families and the homes, because these children come to school from the homes, so we must fight child abuse wherever it manifests itself, whether within the school setup, within the family setup, or within the wider society. I believe that, uh, or we believe that when this study is conducted, it will give us useful information, it will give us useful data, it will give us evidence that will inform policy decision, that will inform policy formulation, that will inform interventions that we can take within the education sector to minimize child abuse uh, within our sector, thereby enabling us to achieve the objectives for which uh, our government and society is investing massively uh, in the education of our people and in the education of our children. The government of the Republic of Uganda believes in a private-public partnership. NGOs in this country and NGOs in this case that are taking lead in this research are part of our dependable partners to whom we normally depend when we have gaps and they normally come in to augment the efforts of government in serving the people of Uganda. Therefore, they are coming together and a consortium to carry out this research, which research will inform policy direction is a welcome strategy. And we fully support the research and we are looking forward to seeing many donors buying into the funding of this research because the research will be important to government.